video, what I have here are two control valves. This is the one that is smaller, and then this is the one that is larger. And what we're going to do today is talk about some real life applications where these valves are mounted on a tractor. So this is going to be the valve that we are selling for going on a compact or utility tractor. And then this valve right here is larger and is typically going on farm tractors, say a John Deere 4440 would be a common one for this valve to go on. And my buddy here is actually a person that works with tractors and he's going to talk about some situations where either or both of these valves might be being used. Um, and what we're specifically going to be talking about is, as you can see on this valve, there's a handle directly attached. So this setup is going to be used if the tractor does not have a cab, which of course is really common with compact tractors. Um, but some compact tractors do have a, a cab and you might want to put a joystick on instead if there is a cab. And then with this control valve, you can see there's no handle attached at all. Um, so this one is typically be going to be going on a farm tractor that does have a cab and it would have a joystick and cables attached to it but it can also be used with an open station tractor that doesn't have a cab. And in that case, you'd attach the handle to it. So just a quick overview of the parts we have laying on the table here. We've got um, the, the joystick, the cables, and then the connection hardware, which is going to be connecting the cables to the control belt. And this, these items can be used with either of these valves in the same way and um, what we also have here is the hardware and the handle which is the parts that are already assembled on this smaller valve but can also be put on this one so if you want to talk a little bit about um, this one first which, which would be shipped with the, the handle attached to it and what some situations might be where a guy might want to put um, the joystick and cables on instead Sure. Well, it, a note that we did make a video separate, and I know that's coming, that shows how to install the cables and those pieces on this valve. So to note, you can install the cable and those pieces on the valve. Just take this handle off and connect the joystick to the valve, and the valve can be mounted remotely and can be put anywhere. So that's a, that's a good video and valuable information. This valve in its current configuration is super handy because again, the valve is already, or the, sorry, the handle is already there, which makes it super convenient. It's got three mounting holes on the back. You can just make a plate and you can mount this anywhere. That's handy. I mounted one on my tractor and put it on the, um, on the ROPS, the rollover protection system. I put it on that bar right behind where I sit and I use it to control other devices, not even a loader. But you could mount this on the fender. I saw a tractor recently that had a big bracket mounted off the loader arm and off the loader arm itself, the upright, he made a bracket that extended toward the operator and mounted it right to that bracket. And that way the handle was in a really convenient place for him to operate it. And he simply had the main hydraulic feed come in and the return leave and then the four hoses that went to the loader were already attached to the loader which made that really convenient because you didn't have hoses running crazy places or long distances since it was already mounted to the upright there were no extended hoses except for these two hoses so what i've seen is these mounted on a open station tractor with the loader and this is mounted to the loader upright and when they're mounted to the loader upright with a bracket extending toward the operator the advantage in that situation is the hoses here that are controlling the loader aren't running anywhere else they're simply hoses running right from the valve to the loader the only thing you need to connect at that point is your hydraulic pressure and your hydraulic return you don't have to connect a joystick. You don't have to extend hoses. You just make a bracket that extends towards the operator and you're finished. In my application, on my small tractor, I mounted this behind me because I'm controlling, I'm adding a second valve. I'm adding additional remotes is what I'm doing. I already have a joystick. I already have a loader. I'm already controlling my loader with a joystick, but I have one remote and I needed more remotes to operate other equipment behind my tractor off the three point. So I mounted this to my 
ROPS bar with a bracket. It was easy to mount. I mount, run my pressure in, my return out, and I simply put elbows on these fittings here and elbowed them out so that I could, those were my remotes at that point. So I didn't have to extend hoses over to a bracket. Now with that being said, there's no reason you can't make a bracket that has bulkhead hydraulic fittings mounted wherever you want on the backside of the tractor for your remotes and run short hoses to go to this valve. Then you can mount this valve with this handle wherever it's convenient for you to operate the handle. And, and certainly this valve is most commonly used to operate a loader. I agree with that. But that's not necessarily the only purpose of it. It is still a hydraulic valve and it can still operate other equipment. And that's the advantage of it that I see is it's convenient to mount. It's a low cost item and it's easy to use. One other advantage I really like about this for controlling equipment out behind my three point is it has a float. Because it's a loader valve, it has a float. I have a blade on the back of my tractor and the blade can articulate, it can run side to side, right? Well, I can put it in float and now that blade can follow the contour of the land without digging in either way freely. And then I can pick it up and I can still operate that valve or operate that cylinder and run right or left, but I have the ability to float. Not a lot of hydraulic valves and certainly not remote outputs have a float function. And I have that with this. It's certainly only on one. It's only on this output that has the extra fitting for the float, but it exists. It's something that I have. So very versatile in that application. Now that all that being said, you can still mount this valve wherever it's convenient. If you have a situation where your pressure and your return are challenging to route and you have a really nice place you want to mount the valve and that's near where the hydraulic pressure and return are and you would prefer at that point to remotely mount the handle well then we have a joystick that we can attach to it and this joystick can be on a bracket wherever it's convenient for you and then you can run hydraulic lines from the outputs and you can run those over to a bulkhead connection or bracket or whatever works best for you to have those connections. Another way you could use it is you could actually mount this on the back of the tractor facing backward, facing the rear of the tractor, and you can actually fit the hydraulic couplers, the quick connectors, right on these fittings and still have room to operate them. There is room to get them alongside of each other as long as you're using 3 8 and not half connections, as long as you're using a little bit smaller quick couplers, they do fit and you don't need anything. Then you just connect them right here. They're mounting straight to the back. At that point, it probably would be really convenient to run joystick. You do have that option. And now I can operate it remotely, but the valve is mounted there. So I guess all that to be said, you can use this where it is the way it is with the valve right here. And you're just running off of these and you're running a loader or something like that. You can use this where you've remotely mounted the joystick and these are running direct outputs or you can remote mount both parts. You can run remote outputs and you can run a remote joystick and mount the valve wherever you want. So um, when you're trying to implement something like this, whether it's this valve or any valve, think outside the box. You don't have to necessarily use what you're looking at. You have options. Yep. And then one thing I just wanted to add too is that with this control valve, so this is a uh, this is the one that's used with farm tractors most often. Um, and this one also has the float, as you can see, that's longer right there. And then also this one does come in a three function setup as well, which is controlled by buttons in the joystick handle. So if this was going to be a three function setup, the only difference um, with the joystick would be there'd be two buttons in the handle here. Um, typically we're selling it for guys that are controlling a front end loader and then a grapple with the third function, but that can be used for um, different applications as well. And then this one, which is going on a smaller tractor because you can't operate a third function at the same time as the joystick um, or as the other functions because there's just not enough hydraulic oil. The third function option for the smaller tractors is just another handle that you move. And again, typically we're selling this, the three function option for somebody that wants to control a grapple 
but yeah, it can be used for different applications as well. No, no, the difference between the valves and the size has everything to do with hydraulic flow. So we, this is by no means a one size fits all, but typically a larger tractor, greater than about 80 horsepower is what we say, is going to use the larger valve because we assume you've got a higher, higher hydraulic flow rating. So this is going to use larger connections. Everything inside is larger. It's going to allow higher flow rates of hydraulic fluid. Whereas we're saying that tractors less than 80 horsepower, smaller compact tractors, utility tractors, are going to use this valve because the hydraulic flows are lower. That doesn't mean by any means that you can't use the smaller valve on a larger tractor if you have a small hydraulic flow application. If you're not intending to use a lot of hydraulic flow, if you're just looking to move a blade like I am, certainly you can use this on anything. And if you think that you've got a lot more hydraulic flow and you really want to use this on a smaller tractor, you certainly can. That said, you still can mount the joystick right on top of here, just like it is here. The, the parts are available to put a valve or to put a handle right on top and have this mounted locally, we would say, so that you can then have a valve right on, or a handle right on top of the valve outputs right here. All the same mounting configurations you can use the small valve with, you can do with the big valve. And again, only difference between the two, small versus big is the amount of hydraulic flow that you're operating with. Yeah, so in conclusion, what we've talked about in this video is the, the setup for um, smaller as well as larger tractors. Um, with a control valve that you can add either to control a front end loader or basically anything um, that you would want to be controlling hydraulic hydraulically on a tractor and then what we talked through is just some different ways that you, in a real life situation that you could be mounting these control valves and then whether you, you would be wanting to control it locally um, with a handle directly attached or remotely where you've got a joystick attached via cables to the control valve. Do you have anything else to add? No, if you have questions or custom configurations, feel free to give us a call or ask us. We're happy to help. I think the biggest, the biggest takeaway I would give is a hydraulic valve has a lot of applications and a lot of uses. You need to move hydraulic fluid and you need to valve it. Just because your tractor only has one or two hydraulic outputs doesn't mean that's how it has to stay. There's lots of options to make that same tractor more functional, both operate a loader or things out the back or think big. Maybe you want to put a snowblower on the front that's hydraulically operated. There, there's virtually no limits as long as you've got a hydraulic pump and a hydraulic pressure line and a return line. There are lots of things that you can do with the same tractor. And we're glad to help make that functional and operational for you.